funky looking man stumbled into Prince's Playhouse, Eastbourne, to attend a three day writing workshop. After the third day, he vanished deep into the haunted woods of Sussex. There he ate strange things that grew and watched the shadows made by his fire dance upon the walls. He emerged from the woods after another three days, waving a script in the grubby palm of his left hand and proceeded to run the seven miles back to Prince's Playhouse barefoot. He somehow lost his shoes and was now only in his pants. Tripping was born! Printers kindly brought together a bunch of actors to read the new play as a favour for the by now very smelly man. Nobody expected much at all really. But after the last word was spoken, nothing was said for quite some time. Only the faint squeaking sound of the newbie writer's nervous bum cheeks could be heard. Finally one of the gathering erupted. This has to be done. This must be done. This will be done. 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 After a slight pause, everybody around the table yelled in agreement and a company was formed. Our company. 50 pounds and a hand drawn poster later. We got the show up after only five rehearsals and managed to sell out a full run in the dark space above the Printer's Playhouse in Eastbourne. Crazy stuff. The town loved it. More shows were added. And as we stood together before the final show, there was a slight tinge of sadness that the journey had come to its end. Little did we know who be Jew be magic had brought an American fellow to the audience on a worldwide tour to find the best 20 shows who would nine days later make an offer, an offer that would make us all quiver with excitement. Eight performances. Soho Playhouse. Encore Fringe Festival. New York this September. Nuts! What's fantastic about this show, Tripping, is... <laughs> right, no, it's, it's a brand new piece about a mad, crazy person who uh, is a bit of a weekend warrior, takes lots of drugs, dr drinks a lot, gets into fights, all sorts of different things, uh, and then he decides to take a brand new drug called... 2CR100. Yeah. And basically he goes on the craziest trip ever, just literally to find himself. So it's like a, an adult version of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> this whole piece and this whole process is really important for, for Printer's Playhouse, but it's also really important for Eastbourne. And we do a show and a, a man comes and says, hey, I want you to come and perform on stage in New York. It, it's been... It's been absolutely mind-blowing. Just the whole thing is quite incredible. It's too good an opportunity to miss for the director, for the writer, for the cast, and for Eastbourne. Hi, I've been directing shows for a long time now, over 25 years, and I've worked all over the UK, Ireland, France, and various places, and I've worked in big theatres and small theatres, drama schools all over London, and the maddest thing is one of the smallest shows with the cheapest budget and literally 50 pounds and suddenly this is one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had as a director because I'd like to show my work and I'd like to show all these extraordinary talented people that have given up their time and we're going to go to New York which is an extraordinary opportunity for all of us and I would love you, love you to help us go. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously this is a lot to take in. Um, so please do take a look at the blurb below. We've written out all of our costings. So if you are at all interested, please take a minute to look through, read through the campaign, see what we're about. Um, and please, if you can, donate. Anything from a penny to a million pounds will be completely accepted and we'll be very grateful for. Here, here. <laughs>